Woohoo! Happy Sabbath, everybody. Today's Saturday, August the 13th. And this is your two minute thought with your boy, John Redmond. Y'all, today's topic is you're fired. Somebody's going to be encouraged today, I promise. Y'all, remember back in 2004, the show called The Apprentice, and it starred our former president, Donald Trump. And his favorite catchphrase, he's still popular for it even unto this day, was, you're fired. And you see the contestants get their little frustrated, sad face on or mad face on, and they might have had a couple of choice words before they left, but they packed up their stuff and left the room. Y'all, that happened to me. Somebody went on and fired the old John. They said, John, you're fired. <gasps> but the problem with that is I've never been fired from a job ever in my life. 40 years. Nobody's ever fired me, but I got fired. You know, side note, even in relationships, <laughs> in all the dating I did, I was never the one that um, was broken up with. I always broke up with them. So this was a new feeling. It was foreign to me and I didn't know how to deal with it. So I took this new news to the Lord. I went home and I got on my knees. I was like, God, now what do I do? <laughs> What's my next move? He said, follow your dream. I'm like, wait, music? He's like, yeah. I was like, but God, but God, <laughs> I don't want to be no starving artist. He said, who said you would? I never said you would be. Psalms 57.2 says, I cry out to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. So I said, okay. So I started to go down that path and I thank God for Thomas Dawson Jr. When I called him and told him the news, he was just like, hey, let's go meet. And he took me out to breakfast and had me come up with a long-term um, goal. And, and he said, and I'm here to help you in any way I can. Well, long story short, did he ever. He spoke into my spirit. Every morning we would call each other. And, and one of the things he told me, I'll never forget. He said, John, do you know sometimes your greatest ability is your availability? Sometimes we'd be too busy, too distracted to walk our journey of purpose. Amen. Y'all, since I've been fired, do you know what God has laid in my lap? The dreams he performed in me? I sang at the Pepsi Center, the national anthem. Opened up for the Denver Nuggets. With my producer and my mentor, Thomas Dawson, who is the Commodores, the legendary Commodores music director, we put out a record called Honoring Louis Armstrong that hit number two on the jazz charts and stayed on the charts for 12 weeks. And on this record was a song that we went on and recorded with the most beautiful woman inside and out that I've probably ever met. Her name is Linda Pearl. She's a Hollywood actress and a jazz singer. She was probably bigger known for her role in Happy Days. She was Fonzie's girlfriend. Linda Pearl, and we did a song Summertime on there. And, and then also appeared on the record was, was a song we did by John Lennon called Imagine. And, and so we said we need to do a video on this song. And so Jay Billups and Thomas Dawson and I came up with a concept. It took about three months, but we finally got it together and we released that video and it acquired over 1.4 million views. Talking about the God who fulfills his purpose for me. How about Mom and Pop Winans put out a record probably about two decades ago. And on this record, they had a song called Nobody Else Like Him. And Mom Winans did a tagline on there, and she said, he's the author of my dreams. 
Do you know that God is the author of your dreams? There's a that dream that's in you, that vision that lies within your spirit that you just can't shake. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You go to sleep dreaming about it. You wake up thinking about it. You walk throughout your day and there's the vision. You can't shake it. God is the author of your dreams. I thank God for being fired. Being fired was a catalyst <laughs> for God to catapult me into my dreams. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you, fill in your name, John, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Let God walk out the dreams that he has for you in you. I hope this helps somebody today. God bless you guys. Remember, he's the author of your dreams.